In this video, we are going to evaluate limits using the graphs of functions. Okay, so this is the graph of, um, of G, okay? And what we have to do here is we are to evaluate the limit of G of X as X approaches negative three. And the way that I like to do this one is I'll take note of that and I'm going to um, draw a vertical line x equals negative 3 okay so I'm draw I'm gonna draw a vertical line there at x equals negative 3 so that vertical line will represent um, x okay because we are approaching negative 3 okay so whenever we approach negative 3 from the left what we do here is we'll start we'll start here from the left and then just approach that that red vertical line so that sort of like acts as a wall that you will approach and once you hit that wall you try to find the y value for what, wherever you are in in the graph so for example this one so from the left okay I tried to follow the graph and then I will stop whenever I hit that the red vertical line and then I will try to find where am I in the y-axis okay so I'm at I'm at negative three. Okay. So what that means is that the limit of g of x as x approaches negative three from the left is equal to negative three. Same goes for the right hand limit. So for the right hand limit, I will also just approach the red vertical line following the graph. So from the right, just approaching it. And once you hit the vertical line, you try to find where you are in the y axis. And it's going to be the same thing negative 3. So the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 3 from the right is also equal to negative 3 and so therefore the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 3 equals negative 3 okay another example evaluate the limit of g of x as x approaches 1 this is the graph of g so again, um, I'd like to draw a vertical line at x equals 1. So let's do that. And so to find the limit of uh, g of x as x approaches 1 from the left, all we need to do is try to follow the graph and hit the red line, the red vertical line. So. Just follow the graph from the left because we're finding the limit from the left. So, so just follow the graph again. And then once you hit that red vertical line, you stop and try to see where you are in the y-axis. So in the y-axis, we're at about 4, but that's not exactly 4 right there. I think that's about 4.2. It's approximately about 4.2 okay so that's about 4.2 in the y-axis so it's just an approximate because we don't exactly know the, the exact value of the limit so just approximately 4.2 and that's a reasonable number all right then uh, to find the uh, the right limit of g of x 
as x approaches 1 from the right we again we will follow the graph from the right and try to hit that red line red vertical line because that red vertical line represents the x equals 1 okay so again try to follow the graph and when I hit the vertical line the red vertical line I'm still at around 4.2 so I have the same value okay so therefore I'd say the limit is about 4.2 okay so the limit of g of x as x approaches 1 since you have the same values for the left hand and right hand limit so that will be approximately 4.2 evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 0 so this graph right here is the graph of y equals f of x okay so just like with the previous examples first thing we want to do is try to draw a vertical line at x equals 0 because we are approaching x I mean we are approaching 0 so this vertical line will represent will represent x equals 0 okay then to find the limit of f of x as x approaches as x approaches zero from the left all we need to do is follow the graph the part of the graph to the left of that red vertical line so here so let's follow this and try to hit the red vertical line so now we're there then ask yourself where are we on the y-axis? So, well, that's clear. We are at negative 5. So, therefore, the limit is negative 5. For the right limit, same thing. Follow the graph from the right of the red vertical line. So, follow and then... Once you hit the vertical line, try to find yourself on the y-axis. So, we are at y equals 7. And so, therefore, the limit of f of x as x approaches, as x approaches 0 from the right is equal to positive 7. And so since the left limit and the right limit are not equal, then we say that the limit does not exist. Okay? Evaluate the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 2. Okay. Again, first thing you should do is to draw a vertical line at x equals negative 2. So let's draw a vertical line. Actually, there's there's already a vertical line here, but this one's the asymptote of this function right here. That's the asymptote of that graph. So it's not really the vertical line that we will draw. Okay. So that's our vertical line that will extend there. Um, so to find the left limit, all we need to do is... So the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 2 from the left is equal to, okay, again, just trace the graph from the left. So trace it. And then once you hit the vertical line, you find yourself on the y-axis. And in the y-axis, we are at negative 6 so we are at negative 6 right so therefore the limit from the left 
is equal to negative 6. Now let's look at the limit from the right. So the limit of h of x as x approaches as x approaches negative 2 from the right is equal to so again same thing just follow the graph and try to hit the red vertical line so let's follow the graph okay let's follow the graph and this graph actually does not hit the um, the red vertical line how do we know well because this red vertical line is exactly the asymptote of this function right here so we know it will never hit the vertical line the red vertical line that we drew so so what that means is that this will just go to negative infinity without ever hitting the red vertical line and so we say that the limit is unbounded okay unbounded in other references they'd say that the limit is infinite or negative infinity because you are actually approaching negative infinity you could also write negative infinity or um, some references would also write this as DNE or does not exist and uh, that's because you know limits are supposed to be finite values values that the, the function will approach to so if it's infinite then that does not exist but that's for other references so it could be unbounded negative infinity or DNE and so since the left limit and the right limit they're not the same they're not equal we say that the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 2 does not exist so again d and e does not exist evaluate the limit of f of x as x approaches 6 so again uh, we have to draw a red vertical line so let's this is actually the asymptote of this graph right here, so they will overlap. Okay, so again, let's find the left limit. The limit of f of x as x approaches 6 from the left. To do that, we will follow the graph and let's try to hit the red vertical line so if we follow this graph this is from the left of that vertical line so what we see is it will not hit the vertical line the red vertical line because as I've said earlier the red vertical line and the asymptotes they're the same thing for this graph so so this one will just grow to positive infinity it will not end okay and just like before, we say that this is unbounded. This is unbounded. Or we could say positive infinity, okay, because that goes to positive infinity. Or we could also say uh, does not exist, because it's infinite. It, it has no bound. It doesn't actually hit the the red vertical line that that we want to hit so okay so it could be either of those three um for the right limit though so we have the limit of f of x as x approaches let me use the color as x approaches six from the right is equal to all right, just follow the graph and try to hit the red vertical line. Okay. So then 
find where you are in the y-axis. In the y-axis, I'm at I'm at negative three. So, therefore, the limit from the right is negative three. Now, obviously, they're not the same, right? So, therefore, we say that the limit of f of x as x approaches 6 does not exist. That's it. See you in the next video.